here's the thing. When you see a fireman bust into a building that's on fire, yep. he's not going to look at the person and be like, what the fuck? Why did you do this? Da, 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 da. He's going to be like, hey, it's okay. Look at me. Grab my hand. Come out. Yep. Why can't you take that approach? I think I am. And, and it's actually funny when you say I lose to women because I'll tell you something that most people probably do not know. I don't know if I said it before. I have never had a negative interaction with a female ever since I've been I've not had a single woman complain at me. When I was in jail, I had thousands of love letters. This dismissive, the, the, the diamonds, you know, in the, in the light, I get it. Yeah. Is it purposeful? I don't want to say it's purposeful. Do I find myself amusing? Certainly. Yeah, it's, it's hilarious. It's funny. But here's the so thing. We it, could take a joke and we could, under, we could filter the bullshit. Yeah. But females, like you said, they're based off of emotions. Correct. They're going to feel their emotions first and then react. Men are like, oh, that's fucking hilarious. Obviously, he's not going to tell his girl to do that. Yeah. Most likely, the real scenario is like, sweetheart, come sit down. Everything's fine. Listen to me. I'm going to protect you. Absolutely. Because I know you know what you're doing. You're a chess master. Every move you make, you're yeah. making it for a reason. Are you doing it to be polarizing? There's no light without dark. Mm. And I think that it's actually kind of interesting. My, my, I don't have many haters anymore. I, for a while I did. About a year ago, there was a big group of the internet that disliked me. Now I actually would argue I'm one of the most liked people on the internet. I think people are waking up. People, bro, every single, if you read thousands of comments, they're all positive. I'm one of the most liked people on the internet. And I can give you reasons for why I believe that is. But the very few people left to try and dislike me, they, they fuel conversation and it's interesting for them to, it's interesting for me to hear. It's interesting for there to be debates regarding things I say. But I think I, I don't think I try and be polarizing. I try to be abrasive because I grew up in a world where I was hit very hard by life. And I think life is abrasive. And I think you learn lessons with a degree of abrasiveness. I think if things are too soft and too well explained, you don't learn them. I, and, and you can apply that to nearly anything, right? You can go drive in your car and drive fast and you can nearly lose the tires 10 times, but you're not gonna stop driving like an idiot until you hit a tree. And then you're gonna be like, okay, I've learned my lesson. Yeah. So perhaps when I display a point, if I have to self-analyze and answer your question as a professional, when I try and get a point across, if I can do something or say something which is a bit abrasive, I feel like it teaches better. I'll give an example. If I say women aren't very good at parking, as opposed to females have no spatial awareness, so it's the same thing, but one of them enrages the world. In fact, both of them make them mad, but the second one really makes them mad. You, don't call women females. They hate that. I don't yeah, but I'm just warning you. But, but then they wait, all get upset. They actually get upset if you call them a female? Absolutely. I sit on these panel shows with a bunch of women, and I'll say something what do you, positive. What do you, if, if, like, I'll just say, well, what do you, you respectfully call them? Females. I'll just call them females. No, they I know, but want, if they get offended by that, then what do you call them? Well, exactly. But this is my point. So I can decide how abrasive I want to be. You can, you, can, you can say the same thing in different ways, and then you're asking me why am I abrasive to be deliberately polarizing, because I feel like it gets my message across better. I feel like it gets my message across better. And even now, the thing I just said, which brought this whole point up, me saying shh and being dismissive was a small way of showing a, a larger meta point. The meta point was, I'm uninterested in what you're about to say and your fear. And I'm I get, uninterested I, in your fear. I get this. And usually somebody don't. with a logic understands this. Somebody who's probably grew up with humor understands this. Somebody who grew up with a good father yep. understands this. So uh, this is my thing. God made you a leader. 100%. I'll take, I'll take it. Okay. And now you're leading men. Yep. But there's a huge crowd of people that you will never understand or touch. Yep. Because I feel pridefully, you don't give a fuck. You're like, if you can't come on with me on this journey, then get the fuck bent. Literally, metaphorically, and physically, 